few nice fish today. It was pretty good dive out. Salmon, nice good sized bonito there, little bonito, and a huge sarger. Unfortunately, I was a bit of a dickhead and forgot my SD card for my camera, but prep this beautiful salmon for a nice smoke. There seems to be a lot of mixed opinions on Aussie salmon or kawai as they're called in New Zealand. I think there's a lot that depends on how you handle them. So I always bleed these fish straight away in the water. It does make a big difference. You also go straight onto ice so that they can stay nice and chilled. So here I'm just cutting the scales off, I'm not doing a traditional scaling technique, but this is a Japanese one, I can't quite remember the name of it right now. Beautiful, no scales on there now. So I think we're gonna butterfly this dog. I just wanna start cutting up from the underside of the fish here. I'm gonna grab some kitchen scissors and go through the ribs up here. Keep following that spine down to the tail and run it right up to the skin without actually cutting through the other side. And do the same on the other side. So once we got to this point, right, and then run our knife along that very top bit of the spine there. Spine. Mm. Let's cut the head off. We're not gonna probably eat much of that. Cut the rib bones out. Slide the knife in. Up underneath. Cut through those pin bones. And then running the knife down underneath towards the belly there. You can have a few pin bones. Just use your tweezers or your pliers or your knife to cut them out if you like but I'm gonna be using tweezers today. And we'll just find them with the thumb and then pull them out like that. The recipe I'm looking at says about one and a half sh brown sugar to one kosher salt. Here we go. Let's drop this dog in here. Boom. It's gonna be a real quick brine as well. This is gonna be for our lunches tomorrow, so who knows how this is gonna turn out. Oh, crikey, you didn't even realize that was skew. Let's get a bit of honey on there. Alrighty, let's run the old ghetto wood chipper again. The old cordless plane vacuum hose and Woolies bag set up. Hasn't failed me yet. A big bag of sawdust. Hey. Oh, I wonder if we can just scoop this. Oh, yep. That's what we want. Okay, just let that burn for a while, eh? All right, so there we have it. It's been brining for a few hours now. Lots of liquid coming out. Lay it down in here. Some people say to wash the brine off, but I think I'm just gonna get some paper towel and just wipe the brine off as much as possible. Just so you don't get like a crazy black. Look how much sugar's in there and salt. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be chewing on that. Yeah, we got this set up and I think it's working quite well actually. Thin layer of this sawdust and we'll just top it up with some freshies. Let's do that. We'll chuck this bad boy in. Thinking like this because it's a bit thicker up here. And we'll chuck the lid on for a while. Just like that. Easy peasy. And there it is guys, my smoked Aussie salmon in all of its glory. A beautiful smoky crust all over it and my lunch for the next day.